This should have been the end of our first day outside the EU, but while the clocks go forward tonight, no sign of Brexit taking a leap with them. It remains stuck in time as the government considers yet another repeat of the vote on its deal. What I do continue to believe is that the deal which delivers on the referendum in a way that works for our economy is the best way forward, but recognising colleagues do, some colleagues um, do still have concerns about that that we need to work through, but Parliament ultimately has to vote for something. But no sign of that yesterday. The eyes to the right, 286. The nose to the left, 344. A third defeat of the Prime Minister's plan hasn't necessarily deterred the government trying a fourth time as MPs prepare to vote again on alternatives next week. This is beyond ridiculous. There is a clear proposal there that we negotiate a customs union with Europe which will then protect the whole issue of the border in Northern Ireland. There is division not just between the parties but within them. Lies. 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 This was one local Conservative association holding a vote of no confidence in its own MP last night. Dominic Grieve has campaigned for a second referendum. Now it's his own members campaigning for his removal. These are very difficult times, very difficult for all of us as members of Parliament in trying to make the right judgment call and trying to reconcile with our conscience and our own opinion what's best for the country. So will you now stand down as the MP? I'm sorry, but the answer is no. I was elected by the 36,000 people in Beaconsfield who voted for me, and I'm answerable to them. But over a hundred of his constituents joined the Conservatives ahead of last night's meeting, including this one from UKIP, as other MPs face similar battles across the country. You stood for UKIP in the last election. It's hardly surprising that you want to get rid of Dominic Grieve, is it? I don't want to, it's not that I want to get rid of Dominic Grieve. I think that he's been incredibly high profile. We call him the High Priest of Remain. People gave him the benefit of the doubt that he said on his election uh, platform that he would respect the result of the referendum and he would vote to trigger Article 50. Now, what's absolutely the case is that he's never really believed in it. Today, voters in Beaconsfield were no more united on the way forward. Does it really matter that we leave without a deal in place? I don't think it does. You just want them to get on with it? Yeah. Well, I think we should have a, another referendum. Do you? I think, yeah. I mean, I think it, it's obvious that Parliament is so gridlocked and they can't decide. Everything is going over my head at this moment, actually. It's too because, confusing. Uh, yeah, too confusing. If you're also confused, well, this place is too. Tonight, we're not out of the EU or the endless debate about it.